Hello and welcome. This is Jared Owen, and today we're going to be talking about binary numbers. We're going to discuss what they are, how to count with binary, and what they're actually used for. So let's get started. The regular number system that we're used to is called decimal. It uses 10 numbers, 0 through 9. We can create any number, no matter how large, by just using these smaller numbers. Binary works the same way, but only uses two numbers, 0 and 1. Let's take a look at how this works. Coming back over here to decimal, we start counting, and once we hit the number 9, we've run out of numbers. So we set the number back to 0 and then add 1 on the left to make 10. This can ripple through any number of digits. When we reach 99, we set both of them to 0 and then add a 1 on the left. With binary numbers, we do the same thing, but of course we run out of numbers a lot faster. We go 0, 1, and at this point we change it back to a 0 and add a 1 on the left. This is a 2 in binary. Here's the first 10 numbers in binary. Here's another way to think about it. Each column or digit in binary has a specified value. Starting on the right, this is the 1's column, the 2's column, the 4's column, and the 8's column. Notice how it doubles each time. So if I have a higher number, such as 1101, you can tell what it is in binary by adding it up. So that's 8 plus 4, nothing in the 2's column, and 1. So add that all up and you get 13. So that's a 13 in binary. Now that you know what it is, why is binary useful? Well, computers use binary because it's easy to store ones and zeros as either on or off. Binary can be used to represent more than just numbers. It can represent letters in a Word document. Each number corresponds to a character or symbol, such as punctuation. It can be used to represent colors in a picture or what you see on your screen. And it can also be used to represent instructions on what the computer should do next. And that's binary numbers. Thank you for watching.